Hello, I'm Joe Lenton from Original Art Photography, and in this video I want to show you how easy it can be to repair grass in Photoshop. Now, this is useful because in the summer months you can often end up with dry periods which can leave you with patchy grass like we've got in this image here. We end up with a sort of this brown colour, this sort of dried out grass which uh, doesn't look as good as a full healthy lawn would do. Now, of course, you can use things like the healing brush and the clone stamp tool, but that can be quite time consuming when you've got something very patchy like this. What you can do instead that makes it a bit quicker, you can go for, let's have a new layer. Now grab your brush. Now what you need to do is sample a green. So hold down Alt or Option and click on a green so that you've got that sampled as your foreground colour. Now I'm just going to do this uh, just so that you can see it uh, nice and easily at 100% on the opacity. Now, if I start painting over the brown areas, you'll see that doesn't look right. We're just getting 100% of that green that I've just sampled from over there. That's what you would expect because the blend mode is in normal mode. So you're looking through it uh, as you would do normally with the layers. If we change the blend mode instead to color, all of a sudden we regain all of that detail. And all that we've done then is just suddenly turn everything into that sort of green. So you can see there that we can quickly paint over everything. We can, we don't even have to necessarily worry about the, uh, the original grass that's out. Uh, the original green bit, we can just paint over the whole lot, uh, like so. You could, uh, even select an area and fill it with that color if you wanted to be, um, potentially to be even quicker. Uh, you can come over to other parts of the image here. You can sample other types of green if you want, but, um, I think the original green we were using there was working quite nicely. So we can paint that in there. I'm doing that on 100% opacity. You may find that in other areas you want to blend it in a little bit more. So you might want to drop your opacity down a bit so that uh, you can let it gradually blend out at the edges a little bit more into the uh, surrounding parts of the image. Um, but you can see there that I've only been at it a few seconds. And OK, yeah, I've got some areas that I would need to tidy up if this was going to be a proper finished image. But let's just zoom back out and we've got a green lawn and we can turn that off. We can turn that on again. And that looks pretty good. Uh, you might think it looks a little fake, perhaps if it's all just too uniformly green. Well, you know, you can, as I showed you earlier, paint some other colors of green in there. Uh, so you can sample some of the darker greens and lighter greens and paint them in. You do get a little bit of uh, differentiation anyway, because it's um, it going through to the layer below, picking up the darker areas and brighter areas from that, you can see that we've got highlights and shadows, even if I just paint the same green all over it. If you're still not quite happy with uh, how that has finished up, uh, you can alter it. Um, for example, you could use a curves layer. Now, if you've done the whole area, then that's nice and easy to affect. If you haven't, uh, and you just want to select the grass that you've painted in, uh, we can hold down Control or command and click, and that will highlight the areas that we've uh, been painting over. Grab ourselves a new uh, adjustment layer, and we could say, let's bung a bit more contrast into the grass that, uh, that we've just been painting in. So there we go, there's a little bit of an S curve on there just to give that a bit more contrast. You can turn that off and turn that on again, and that starts to look a little bit more realistic, perhaps. So just to recap, if you've got dried out grass in your images, doesn't matter whether it's portraits, landscapes, whatever it might be, uh, grab yourself a blank layer, change the blend mode to color, uh, select the brush tool and select a green that you want to paint over the, uh, the dead bits with, paint over that, and then if you want to play around with the contrast or the brightness at all, uh, you can make a selection from it and then use that on another layer, like a curves adjustment layer, for example, uh, to change your grass over. So especially if you're only having the image fairly small on the web, like this for example, you think there's your before and there's your after, and that does look pretty good for just a few sort of uh, brief uh, seconds or minutes worth of work there, and saves an awful lot of time compared to doing uh, a lot of um, healing and clone stamping. You can uh, still tidy it up in that way if that's uh, what you'd like to do. So where we've got bits where the tones are a little uneven, you could still use a healing brush uh, to smooth all that out a little bit if you wanted to. But uh, I thought you might find that a helpful trick, especially at this uh, time of year uh, when grass is not necessarily looking at its greenest. Uh, it's a quick way of rescuing photos that otherwise you might be disappointed with and consider binning. Thank you for watching.